Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I will be able to create more content for you. Now without any delay, let's start the tutorial. Alright, so today we're going to talk about Rescue Zilla. Is the Swiss army knife for system recovery. This is one of the two application, open source applications that I use to recover hard drives, to back up hard drives and to restore the hard drive. It works with a lot of different type of systems. It's very simple to use. The other one I use, use is the Clonezilla. This one is RescueZilla. And all you gotta do is download, burn, and restart your PC with the actual uh, USB drive. And you are ready to go. Of course, you need a external USB drive, equal to, or more if you, if you have, to back up your hard drive so you can actually make the copy. So if you go to rescuezilla.com, all you gotta do is download the, the latest version. This is the version I'm going to download today and I'm going to save it on my hard drive. Another thing I'm going to use to create the USB is called USB Imager. It's also open source. It's on gitlab.com bztsrc slash USB Imager. I'm going to leave, of course, all the links in the description below. Here you can find all the version from Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, Raspbian, and so on and so forth. You download the version you you want. Um, I already done so, I already got everything, but otherwise just click here, for example, for the Windows, or here for the Mac, and, and the rest. Anyway, so I'm gonna click on this one, and I'm going to download the latest version of RescueZilla, and I'm gonna start to make the USB dongle. Right, so this is the file I have downloaded and I have already extracted it. This is the actual file inside. I'm going to double click so I can actually start the program. And here we go. We got the USB imager program up and running. We got two functions, write and read. You can verify if you wanted to. Here you can actually choose the USB drive you're going to use, the USB pen. This is what I'm going to use, 16 gig. And here you can actually load the ISO image that we have downloaded from the website. Here we go, we got the rescued Zilla here. It's about 789 megabytes. So bear in mind, it's quite big. And I'm going to press open. Then when I'm ready, I'm going to press right. Make sure that this is uh, formatted. Make sure that all the stuff, if you got some stuff on it, is already been backed up. Otherwise, you will lose it. So let's click on right and let's wait. Right, so the actual uh, USB pen is ready. You will might get this pop-up say you want to format the disk. You want to use, you know, you want to click cancel, of course. You want to do this so, and cancel it, all of it. Everything is ready to be used. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to back up and restore my laptop that is running Ubuntu. Right guys, uh, so here we go, uh, we are in Ubuntu, this is what I'm going to back up and going to restore it back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it with RescueZilla. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the USB and I'm going to restart and of course I'm going to also plug the USB 3 is the one I got from Rico and uh, the one I'm going to use I'm also going to leave the link for the video below just in case you want to see the review and there we go and we can start the rest of the tutorial 
running on. So as you can see, we are starting with Rescue Zilla. Right, so we got the Rescue Zilla up and running now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press Backup. Is going to identify the internal hard drive and the external hard drive, such as the one I'm going to use to back up to, and the actual USB pen that I used to start up RescueZilla. So the 14 gig, as you can see there, drive two is my SanDisk that I got RescueZilla. The 223 gigabyte is the Toshiba external USB 3. Western Digital, even though it comes up as Toshiba, and the other one is 465 gig, and that is the one I'm going to select to back up. So I'm going to press Next. Right, so now what I'm going to do is just um, select which partition I want to save. Now I can choose a single partition or I can actually choose every single partition. All I gotta do is just select, as you can see here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to back up the, entra the entire drive. And I'm going to select the destination. In this case, it's gonna be the drive partition file there, two to three gigabytes. And I'm going to press next. I'm going to select the destination folder. I'm going to leave it as MNT backup. I'm going to press enter uh, next. Sorry. There we go. This is the actual file is going to be created. Press next. And then again, next to start. All we got to do now is wait until the backup is complete. Right, so as you can see here, guys, the backup has terminated. So my next step here is to click next and what you got to do is exactly the same thing when you want to restore you insert the usb with rescuezilla you start up and the next step rather than backup you click on restore you're going to identify all the actual drives you're going to ask it's going to ask where is the location of the image. Now, as you know, we use the uh, Western Digital SSD. Right, guys. So uh, what we're going to do? We're going to go to the this partition here, the 223 gig. I'm going to go to next. Now I got multiple images here. I'm going to select which image I want to restore. I'm going to go to next. On which drive, of course, I want to restore it. I'm going to choose my 465 gig. I'm going to go next. And now everything will be done and restored by clicking on next. I'm going to overwrite the partition table because it's already there. Once it's finished, you're ready to boot back on your OS as you were backed up the first time so here we go this is the next step i'm going to press next and the restore will initiate all right as you can see the confirmer store is done uh, the operation took no time really no time at all and here we go, the, uh, the, the restore summary is there. All you gotta do now is close down and reboot your computer. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So 
So we, we go there, we're gonna close this one here and we go to restart the machine. And as you can see here, Ubuntu is restarting. Right guys, so um, here we go, you've seen the full process of backing up your hard drive, cloning your hard drive, and how to restore it again. Now let's go on the Windows machine and we're going to close off. Alright guys, thanks again for joining me for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon to get notified. And again, guys, I'll see you next tutorial.